Welcome to episode 223 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And despite what you might think, what you're seeing behind me is not a green screen. I'm actually at VCon. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So I'll show you some footage. It took a lot. You probably roll it right now if you're watching the video. Um, I am at VCon 2022 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're in U.S. Bank Stadium. Uh, it's where the Vikings play. So as an Eagles fan, don't have much beef with the Vikings. Got to give them a little bit of love. city has a lot of passion, a lot of grit. And this is the very first VCon, which is Gary Vaynerchuk's, um, it's really kind of his, his opus of what he's been building in the NFT space over the last year or two. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, um, you're going to have to at least be a little bit familiar with an NFT and cryptocurrency. Basically, he built this community around these digital assets, and there are these characters. There's, you know, um, and each character has uh, an attribute, like patient panda, right, confident cobra. And these attributes are something that he believes deeply in, and he has built now this, um, this ecosystem of characters around that, and 10,000 people have showed up to really rally and build community around these attributes. It might seem a little weird, but if you think about it for a second, most of the things in the brands you affiliate with have to do with some level of belief. And you know, I say that brand is a mirror of belief. So basically you look at a brand and it mirrors and reflects your values back at you. This is no different. For a long time, Gary has built businesses and he has always um, really portrayed and promoted these uh, principles of kindness and empathy. And now he's found a way to scale it by building an empire, intellectual property empire. Let's put it this way. He said this morning from the keynote, he said, all of you in here, he said, how many people are between 30 and 40? A lot of people raised their hands. He says, your grandchildren will interact with these characters. So think about Mickey Mouse. He's trying to build Disney again, but in a whole new and fresh way. So this conference that I'm at today is 10,000 people who actually espouse and try to espouse these values, and they've gathered, and there's all types of cryptocurrency exhibits, and there's music performers, um, there's business and entrepreneurship and investment um, sessions, and all of it is based around, you know, as he would say, kind of leaving the world better than we found it. And I've never heard him talk like that before, but he seems very driven and very determined. And so some of the things I've experienced here so far, number one, the crowd and the energy is just great. It is just, no one is, um, I would bring my kids here, right? And every time you go to a big conference where there's music and, you know, lots of young people, it's probably a 70%, I would guess, predominantly male um, audience here. I would feel safe bringing my kids here and actually like leaving them in a seat while I went and did something. So that's saying a lot about the community as, um, as it is. And it really got me thinking about why we build community, like why we actually gravitate toward things. And, you know, you could might look at the creative and look at the characters, but like, well, I'm an adult. I'm not into cartoons or the characters look a little funny to me. You might be thinking of that. And I really thought, what it actually is and what most brands and communities, whether it's a band, whether it's a clothing line, whether it's a sports team, um, you know, maybe it's an author, maybe it's a YouTube influencer, the creative that they put out, the actual creative content, whether that's a video or a character or a song, the creative acts only, I think, like a signal fire to show all the other people that have the same belief that this is where you're gathering. And this is just becoming clear to me right now. It makes sense now. It's a lot of the things that we're doing um, with my other, um, my other initiative, Automotive State of the Union. The creative is what lights the signal fire and the smoke goes into the air. I don't know if you've ever seen this. I live in the country. So when there's a fire somewhere, I guess you don't have to live in the country to understand this, but when there's a fire somewhere out there, you typically, you see a line of smoke billow up and you're like, wow, what's, what's going on out there? And so that's what the creative is for brand building. The creative is actually the signal fire that people see and they say, we should go in that direction because I believe that too. I feel the same way too. So here I am at Vegan trying to learn a lot about crypto and NFTs, but learning a lot more about building brand and building community. 
as we engage in this. So I was able to have dinner with some friends, some VaynerMedia friends last night, and all of that to say, like, I wanted to bring this moment to you. I mean, there's a Ferris wheel here, there's incredible stage, incredible activations, um, there's this Pepsi lounge, and I'm in a, a Gala Games gaming lounge right now, and, you know, like, I'm going to be honest, a lot of it is not super comfortable for me. Because I didn't grow up in this world, I'm learning. And how do you be like right now? Like, how do you become a crypto expert or an NFT expert? It's like, well, you just have to be six months ahead of the next person. So um, I'm diving in. It's not fully native to me, but I'm learning a lot. And right, that's how we grow. But in six months from now, I'll be a lot more savvy. And just think about this. Our teenagers, your teenagers, and the kids younger that are grow going to grow up and they're going to have a very normal interaction with cryptocurrency and NFTs. And I know if you're the kind of person that's saying, I'm never going to have an NFT, I'm never going to have cryptocurrency. Um, Trevor Marsteller, we had a, it, a link over this. I don't think you're listening, but if you are, I'm talking to you. And people say, well, I don't understand it. They're not learning about it. And they're like, I'll never have one. Well, wait until your driver's license from the DMV is an NFT, and then you'll have one. And we'll talk about that in another episode. Whatever it is, I'm sure the DMV will figure out a way to make it the slowest, least convenient NFT you've ever owned. I'm hating on the DMV. I mean, it's an easy target. But all that to be said, um, I'm glad you're here with me a little bit. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of the footage if you know, you're know you watching instead of listening. And I'm telling you, this isn't a green screen. Be happy. I'm going to pick up the camera. I'm going to show you. But until next time, keep getting perspective on things you don't understand and keep either moving toward those signal fires with the other people that believe the same as you do, or maybe, just maybe it's time to light one of your own. Until next time, I'll see you. Oh, look at that. This is what he was up to. Mm -hmm. There's my setup. Actually, Gary Vaynerchuk's right over there somewhere. And here you go. We got a session going on. Hey, it's Dana White, founder of the UFC. It's a real Ferris wheel, folks. So I wasn't joking. I told you.